Yeah, what's going on, brother truckers, sister truckers, and Tara? It's been a long time to put these windows up. It's been a hot minute. I ain't rocked with y'all in a minute. Look at me, I got the big beard thing going on. I gotta get home and let my man, my man shake me up. Got the big trucker biker beard. <laughs> what's up, y'all, what's going on? Listen, I got some shout outs, all right? No particular order. You know how I do. No particular order. Yeah, y'all like, yo, how you just gonna pop up on the scene and ain't gonna tell, explain to where the hell you been? Like, ain't had a, ain't had a video in a minute. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, I was, I'm gonna keep it real. I was in my funk. Like, I was not in the mood to shoot a video. I had, like, like a block. Like, I, I just couldn't, I didn't know what to come up with. And I'm still, I'm still there. Real talk, I'm still there with, like, trying to find content when I'm in a funk about trucking. You know, like the last video I spoke on, it, it's just, it's, I'm in a funk about this stuff, man. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, I really do love what I do, but when I'm trying to like, I gotta like really maneuver things and, 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 and slide stuff here and there to make make things work. Right now I'm in um, Ohio, 25 miles west of Columbus. The dad going fuel at the pilot right now is $6.50. 50 cents, 45 cents. Oh, by the way, happy Father's Day. Cause that's what today is, today's Pops Day. To all you guys who couldn't, you know, you pull out game this week. Yeah, happy Father's Day. <laughs> but yo, yeah, that's what it is, man. You know, I mean, I've been, and I'm not the only trucker that's going through this, you know, I'm not. But y'all you know, rock with me, so I'm telling y'all what I'm going through. I'm going through it right now. So I'm trying to make provisions, you know, keep that positive attitude and, 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 and try to do this, you know. I, I gotta make moves. But anyway, let's get to these shout outs, man. I think this gentleman just made a comment. I don't know if you are um, a subscriber or not. Mr. Dan Lee, what's going on? If you were Pops, happy Pops Day and you'll pull out Games Week too. Word up. Okay, who else we got? Oh, we have Devin Jenkins. Devin is from the insurance department at the Candler, North Carolina Terminal. Hi, Devin, thanks for commenting there. I hope you're a subscriber. All right, who else we got on here? We have Miss a new subscriber by the name of Miss Kimberly D. Jamison. She gave that full government. Miss Kimberly D. Jamison wants you to know who she is. Thank you for subscribing, dear. We have another new subscriber by the by the initials of DR. I don't know if that's Dominican Republic. I don't know if that's Doctor Dr., whatever. Oh, I know who, I think I know who that DR is, trying to be slick, but you know, food in my face. We're gonna find out. It may be my man, my man from Philly. That may be him, but if not, it's not you. Please thank you for subscribing, DR. Okay, we have um, another new subscriber by the name of Jason Pappenfuss. P A P E N F U S S. Jason Pappenfuss. If you're a dad, Jason, you already know your pullout game is weak. Happy Pops Day. All right. Who else we got here? We have a Miss Clara Thomas slash. Clays, yo, y'all know I suck at these names. Y'all gotta come up with some some slick street slick, strict street, street, street names like something real short, Ray Ray or something. Okay, this is Clara Thomas slash Clay, C L A E Y S. Right, I got it right. I hope. Thank you for subscribing, dear. And last but not, not least, we have my man Willie Covington. I live in Covington, Georgia, so you may be the relatives of Willie of the of the Covington clan that owns Covington, Georgia, who knows? But anyway, Willie, if you're a dad, you already know, bruh. You pull out games week. Happy Father's Day to you. All right, so what I did was um, I shot some video and took some pictures of my 2013 reefer trailer. It is for sale. It's, it's got to go. I'm going back to the drive-in. I, um... I wanted to stay with the reefer, but even before the, the fuel thing and all that, I've just not, I've not been feeling reefer freight. Like I mentioned before, keep going to pick up a load, especially on chicken or something like that, that's ready at like, oh, your load's ready at 3 p.m. and you're there all day going night and you gotta drive all day and night and instead of get, it's just, ugh, I'm just done with it, you know? I've done enough of reefer freight, you know, I can, I know I can get some good drive air freight, because I've done it before. You know, I've ran that lane and I've done it before. 
So that's what it is. Yeah, this video is just to say hey to y'all, let you know I'm still out here doing my thing. Still at on track transportation for now. <laughs> you know, anything can happen, you never know. But yeah, that's where I am now. And um, you know, I appreciate you guys commenting, I appreciate you guys um, you know, just, just just kicking it with me when I'm on here doing my thing, you know. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video of the trailer and the pictures. Peace. Truck Life 914, and you know I'm gone. Here you have it, y'all. My 2013 Wabash Reefer with the um, carry unit on it. Oh, let me try to back up so I'm too close. Here we go. Carrier unit, Wabash. I am gonna jump down and get some more photos. Stand by. Okay, I'm gonna start it up also so you can see the hours and minutes ran on it. Give a quick walk around. It's a 2013 wall bash with the carrier unit. What I've done to it, all new brakes, all new airbags. The tires do not match, but they are virgins. No recap over here. I think the lowest one is 430 seconds on the tread depth. The floor has been done over. This is not the original floor. You can see where it's been welded, done over. Solid straight. I do got to get that tacked back in. But other than that, she's good to go. A little bit of molding coming off at the bottom. It doesn't hinder it from keeping cold. It'll run you a negative 10. I haven't done a negative 20. I don't do ice cream. Same thing up top. You can see where some of that molding's coming off on the top and the side of that door. I'm trying to get out of the sun. You see it up there hanging. Still got the old original mud flaps on there. They're not coming off too much you can probably bolt them back on and get some new ones but that's just aesthetics you know the performance of the trail is what you what you want to know we're going to climb underneath here see the tires like i said it could use some new ones later on probably but we do got new brakes and new airbags on here less than um six months ago all four airbags were replaced all the brakes were replaced i do have receipts for this Oh, my old ass underneath here. <laughs> here we go. Airlines, nothing's hanging too low. I had a spare. I took the spare out. I had to use it, of course. But it does have the spare tire rack. I think that's a 50 gallon tank. Give you another walk down the other, other side. I've had patchwork done in the past. Like I said, none of this hinders the trailer from working, doing its job. I've never had a load turned down, refused or gone bad. No claims on any of my freight that I've been pulling with the trailer. All right, I'm gonna go start it up, let you see the time, hours on it, and watch it get cool.